Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. 50 Years of Broadway at the Kennedy Center is a once-in-a-lifetime celebration of some of the greatest moments from Broadway's history on the stages of the Kennedy Center. This star-studded event, which is hosted by James Monroe Iglehart, will take place this weekend. And I caught up with some of Broadway's favorites who are participating. You were a part of the uh, 50 Years of Broadway at Kennedy Center. I have yeah. goosebumps just saying this. I mean, kind of exciting, isn't it? Yeah. How excited are you to be a part of this? Like singing again in a big, beautiful house. 37 piece orchestra, Rob Berman's conducting, Mark Bruni's directing, Joanne Hunter's choreographing. There are, I mean, you, you've, you're you interviewing everybody. The list of stars are people that I look up to and I admire, and I'm, I just can't wait to stand in the wings and watch them perform. And to be, it's sort of like we're all going back to, not summer camp, February, winter camp, of just being able to be together and share great music and celebrate the the Kennedy Center. I was just talking to Gavin Creel this morning at our sound check, and um, we chatted about how much we love events like this because, you know, we get to do what we love and what we do so well in a couple of numbers. We don't have to, you know, put the whole show on our shoulders. We can come together with this amazing, talented Broadway group of people as an ensemble unit, basically. And um, gosh, and especially this kind of a group, you look at the list of this cast and Everybody's just so wonderful and, you know, they, they do what they do so well, but mostly they're just really kind and generous people. Um, so when you when you get to work with great people on stage, that's the best part of doing any job, really. I am back at the Kennedy Center. Um, you know, that's where Annie was mounted um, in 77. And really the Kennedy Center, and Roger Stevens in particular, was responsible for making sure we got to Broadway with that last 500,000, which in those days was probably like 5 million. So um, so we made it to Broadway and here we are. Next time was with Carol Channing and Jerry's Girls and I got a ticket for roller skating at the Kennedy Center, but Carol paid it for me. She felt bad. <laughs> are you serious? I am. <laughs> is it surreal being back there at the Kennedy Center where you started yeah. playing Is? I'm literally so emotional. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to tell everyone how emotional I actually feel, but I'm on the edge of tears the whole time. It's just all the memories are sort of floating back in again. And even just being in the elevator, I'm like, oh, I remember this elevator. You know, it was such a magical time for me. And I didn't really know how incredible it was going to be as well. You know, so just going back there to my original feelings, you know, it, and it's, you know, overwhelming now for me so many years later.